I think there's a particular beauty in broken shells. Through the brokenness, the lines and curves that are normally hidden to all but the creature who lives there become visible. The shell is no longer what it was, but it's, it is still a wonder in its fragile, broken state. We are all broken in some ways. We are wounded by events in our lives. Current times remind us of how vulnerable we all are and how fragile human life can be. But our wounds are part of who we are. When Jesus was raised from death, he showed his friends his wounds. They were part of who he was now in his transformed, renewed life. Our brokenness and wounds are not erased in our ongoing growth through life, but they can be transformed. The broken shells also remind us of the beauty within all things. Beyond what we think, we see or know of ourselves, or of others, or of creation, there is always more and there is fragility and beauty. Psalm 139 speaks of how God knows our innermost selves in all our vulnerability and woundedness. God sees and hears us, God knows us deeply, and God does so in love. A love that embraces all human life in Jesus. A love that wants us to know we are loved completely. A love that wants to lead us to new life. Here's a few verses from Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Everlasting.